payment acceptance. Thanks for shopping at Tesco. Thank you very much. And have a wonderful Thank day. You. So as soon as we've done with the show, I'm going to rush off and carry out 400 kilograms of flooring. Um, it is, it's a busy old week. I can talk to you like my garage. I want to do it, but I just stare at it and I ignore, <laughs> I ignore the enormity of the project and just yeah, uh, set it back into um, how it looks now, which is a right mess. But anyway, um, but yeah, um, you know, you know sometimes how you, you go, you're just ready to go to bed and you just go, let's have a quick flick through YouTube and see if there's one last video that's oh, yeah. maybe worth watching. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing this, when was it? Saturday night, Saturday night. And uh, what happened to come up on my feed was the fact that um, Tony Ford, most of us know him, was, uh, but he happened to start talking about things like this week, in, this week in retro and how much he really enjoys the podcast. Um, said similar comments about my channel as well um our channels are fairly similar sizes um but he also he got onto the topic of yourself neil and he just i had to make mention of it i hope you don't blush but he just could not say enough positive stuff wow. and yeah it was all really good really really good <laughs> stuff you. yeah it must be thank you Tony. it must be hard for you chris to actually catch live streams in your time zone in the in the retro sphere because it seems yeah. the retro hobby is very imbalanced in terms of geographic locations a lot of us stuff a lot of european stuff there are some great australian channels mr lurch was retro of yourself you know lots of people down there but you know it's pretty imbalanced so i don't imagine you get many live streams for example when i live stream it must be difficult for you to jump on those yeah i think i've been on one if not two but one of those was because you'd purposely done it at a time that would work oh well. okay slightly more countries but and i can totally understand why you won't do that too often because then that obviously screws up your weekend you know what i mean so it's a it's a hard thing to to balance but yeah um sometimes on a weekend i might catch an american live stream because obviously as i'm waking up they're getting ready to think about going to bed um so sometimes sometimes that'll happen but yeah uk and europe ones you get it most of the time because they're generally saturday nights um yeah it's, it's quite fun like, going on to twitch sometimes and just type it in you know Atari or whatever, and see what comes up. You, you, there's a lot of stuff out there, even if there's only one or two people watching this, you know, or no people watching a particular streamer. It's nice to drop in and just see people doing their thing, doing their hobby, regardless of, you know, they don't care if people are watching or not. They're just doing their thing and shit. So I do enjoy that. Anyway, speaking of doing our thing, we need to hang out with them and hear their opinions on different topics. So that's kind of what we do. So we won't be changing and we won't start interviewing guests anytime in the near future. Um, but thank you for, you know, all feedback is, is greatly, uh, gratefully received. So we did run it over. Um, we are now at a massive 39 patrons for the show. Thank you so much to everybody who offers their support. I'm so glad that we can be a part of your week. A lot of comments I see are people saying that we've become a part of their weekly routine, a part of their Saturday morning while they have their breakfast or do their chores or whatever they're doing. So whatever it is you're doing this morning while you listen to us, hello, I hope you're doing well for you. Black car won't wash itself. And we've hit another milestone in that we've just rolled over some supply to uh, Pratik, um, Anthony, and Glenn. And I've just realised which Glenn that is, so thank you so much for your support. Yes, Glenn, I can see you. So thank yeah. you so much uh, for Pratik or Protec. Um, yeah, Protec, probably. Protec, yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for joining the. Uh, the growing army of twirlers you are now twirlers you'll be pleased to hear uh thank you everyone and here is to 10,000 subs fingers crossed 
First up this week, we're celebrating a birthday. At least not used it very much. So, please put an orange and kindly crochet a post in the subreddit from another group, alerting us to the fact that Microsoft Encarta is indeed now 30 years old. So, released March 22nd, 1993, according to the post, apparently, um, the, the post was shared. Uh, Basically, it was just a screenshot of the post that we shared with us. So, to refresh my memory, I've actually found a link to a short video by Nerve Gorilla uh, of the 93 version of Encarta, and uh, we'll put the link in the show notes as well uh, to that video.
Friday. Um,
Thank <laughs> you. 